Well, when I started in sales training about 20 years ago, I never, never realised that a 10 inch handheld battery operated device would give someone so much pleasure. <laughs> and I think one of the things that, as I said, I learned all the way through the training and stuff that I've been doing, but then really came home to me when I started doing radio, was the fact that every single one of us have a little inner voice. Now, just in case any of you are wondering or thinking, I don't have an inner voice, I'd like to introduce you to your inner voice right now. <laughs> now, my point is, and what I learned in, in the radio studio, is that that is exactly the thing that holds many people back. And it holds people back in networking scenarios, it holds people back from public speaking, uh, it holds people back also in terms of creating good, sustainable, long-term relationships. Just as much as that inner voice can actually be the thing that stops you doing something, it could also be the thing that stops other people connecting with you. And it's all about connecting with other people on a different level. And when I say that, what I mean is connect with them on their agenda. Now, from a sales training point of view, one of the things that I, again, have learned is that, bizarrely, very few people who are in a sales profession really do that truly well. They actually struggle with it because they're either process driven or they're driven about their product or passionate about what they're trying to sell. But actually the inner voice says, I've got to say all this stuff. First tip really is, is it's not about you, it is about the other person. It is all about being on their agenda. And don't be afraid to share your values, your principles and, uh, and be authentic. You know, you are who you are. <laughs>